Welcome back, fellow Diamond Dogs. This is your King Willick speaking, Chief and Commander, at this point in time. So, I'm guessing, since we can't figure out what we're going to do yet, I want to hit up some side quests so we can actually level up our team a bit more. So, the first thing I want to do is hit up a riot. And since we can't get no intel on side missions, we'll just have to jump right in. And what could possibly happen? It's a side mission, right? It's a side mission. Alright, so secure the right SMG blueprints. Really? I gotta secure blueprints? By the way, we're not only securing tapes, people, the translators, and other specialists. We have to gather blueprints for future weapons and materials. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, so, uh, we have upgraded weapons. Now, I want to try out a few. Um, I was told that this shotgun is just like the one on my back. So it's not going to be as easy to pull off. So I'm going to go back to my normal rounds. And as far as this goes, well, we only have that. So can't modify it for right now. And I still don't have a rocket launcher. And I'm still waiting on the blueprints of the blast shields. So hopefully we can pick up some specialists along the way to fix that. Um, most importantly, <clears throat> ones for rocket launchers. So we're going to leave it at the sniper rifle that we uh, currently have. Second, I don't trust that gun, so I'm going to go back to my... Sleeping darts, or sorry, excuse me, sleeping ammo, and uh, excuse me, I got the hiccups for some reason. Um, most likely I can stay in tune with the uh, gear that I have, but I want to keep as quiet as possible. Nearing the end, we'll pick up the white bear for the legendary pickup so we can get our infinity bandana. But until then, 
we can't do much of right now. Um, <clears throat> we did upgrade our arms so we have more or capabilities, such as bionic thrusting at the ground so we can tell where our enemies are, or if ever moving. But not only that, our intel tells us that we can now send uh, missionary members out on the field just to give us some field specs uh, on things that we've probably missed. And I haven't tried that out yet, so this might be the first time to actually do that. Um, as for support, uh, the foam decoy is only for the uh, <clears throat> online stuff. So we're going to keep that to a bare minimum swap it out with something we don't have right, right as of yet oh but we can't hmm well you know what there plus we have smoke grenades <coughs> something to help us escape that I keep forgetting to use Something that can help us escape like ninjas. Like I do on Assassin's Creed occasionally. And I will stream some Assassin's Creed at some point. I just need to collect enough money to at least get Assassin's Creed 1, uh, Brotherhood, and uh, Revelations. That's about it. Um, yeah. What else do I need? So we have smokes, flares. Oh, plus we've upgraded our traps. Looks like everything's at level 2. Or 4. That matter. So I guess that's covered. Um, I don't know what's on this. Or if it can be replaced. But we will have the waterproof box eventually, just not right away. So I'm told. So we have first. Actually, I'm not so sure how they coded this. Because we have so many boxes for a cover. Oh, and remember those days as, you know, Solid Snake? We would use cigarettes as um, filtering lasers and such. Well, this one passes time. Apparently, we have a time machine in our pocket. It just doesn't go back in time. Alright, so we're going to go test our mobility of Fulton devices, if we possibly can. So, our scope iDroid and Fulton's are at level 2 now, so let's see what we can pick up. Um, yeah, I believe that's all we've got for right now. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we still have all but one buddy. Well, three buddies, actually. So we're going to leave it at none for right now. Uh, character selections. Well, mm, cool. Still, just snake until we at least beat the main story, the first time. Uh, still no headbands. Still nothing. So we'll pick those up along the way. Now, I guess we can head off to our mission. Oh, and by the way, while we're picking up this blueprint, I want to see if I can actually pick up a specialist. I'm going to try to at least. Stealth mode. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the stealth. We get permanent stealth, too. 
Of course, granted, it gives time to recharge, but I can't remember what it takes. Okay, we get the wormhole. Boss, good news from the support unit. They can now deliver support strikes to our areas of operation. Use your iDroid to designate a location for a strike. Just make sure you're not in the kill zone. I hate to tell the men they blew up the boss. <laughs> After you've called in a strike, move away from the target location immediately. Also, like the flight drops, <coughs> cross GMP. So once you don't put us in the red, remember what our real objective is. Oh, I remember this place. Oh, I love this area. He's finally taking us to where we should be landing. So, strike zones. We can now fire these things. And I'll tell you their mobilities. For right now, we can only do bomb deterrence. Which means if we actually pinpoint an airstrike from the air, and like what Miller said, they take up uh, GMP for each use, but I'm going to designate one right now. And our ability for those chances upgrade depending on how far we get through the game. Okay, so we killed a certain aspect of the map. Yeah, we don't have the uh, uh, complete upgrades to it, so we'll use what we can. So it's only using 9,000 GMPs just to use this ability. Okay, so... Right. So that took out like half of their turrets. So now we get to use our main supply of resources, which is to have someone come in and infiltrate the area. If we can. Though I'm not so sure how. 
We have three members in the Intel team. I'm going to see if we can buff that up to a little bit more. Um, nobody in the waiting room. The R&D is doing quite nicely. Okay. Right. Move that guy to the Intel team. Alright, so we'll move this guy. This guy. This guy. Alright, so our Intel team is fully established. Now, um, Yeah, there's a chance that I'm not so sure how this works. around. With the local residents gone, they brought back to the wild. Okay, so I'm not even sure how that works. So I guess I'll go by here.
So what I'm going to have to do is bomb this area until they're all gone. So that's what Miller meant by staying out of the drop zone. The security forces must know something about the targets. After you grab or hold up an enemy, try interrogating them. I hear movement, but I'm not so sure from where. Dude, I'm not even sure if I even grabbed that yet. Alright, so there goes some materials in our pockets. He didn't, he didn't even look straight up, he just walked right into the blast. Alright. 
Okay, just when I thought there was something down here, there isn't. Okay, time to slowly creep out this door. Okay, good. Okay, I think I blew up the radio. Which means no copyright for this section ever anymore. Oh wait, can I still get the tape? No? Guess not. So we'll have to wait until next time. Okay. Apparently, I also blew up their incoms. That's very strange. I thought it was in here somewhere. I mean, this would be the place to hold it. Now they're hiding it from me. Well, I blew up their communications tower, so that's a plus. Okay, but well, where did they hide the blueprints? See if there's a guy still back here. Pretty sure there should be. Okay, there you are. And 
and that's how you take care of it all. Right. Well, apparently there's no one else to uh, take out. So, he didn't give up the location of the blueprints, but I'm pretty sure they're here somewhere. For a second there, I thought there was somebody else out here. But we are not giving up that easily. I'll stay here from start to finish and I'll still find what I need. Talk about dedication. Um, but you know what though? Development platform complete. Cool. somewhere. It can't be nowhere. Oh, the blueprints are over here. Gotcha. Looks like a classic Nintendo. That material. It could be just what we need to develop new weapons and equipment. Yeah, who's the man? Cyber Snake's the man. Which reminds me, before we even leave, we gotta figure out if we can actually fold in a car. Or a truck. Any sort of vehicle variety. Hopefully. If there's still one left around here. I don't think there is. Right, well, if you can't lift that thing, you have no chances lifting a car or a truck. Not even a tank. So I'm going to have to postpone on using one of my battle tanks until we're actually able to lift them again. Because I'm not using property I can't bring back. bogus that way. Right, so we got our intel file. We have blueprints. Well, we pretty much covered what we needed here. <coughs> so now we're going to have to call the chopper, have him come down and pick us up. So what better way to do it than with a bang?
while the chopper makes his way here, I'm gonna go see if my uh, farm is ready for those diamonds. Because I did mention before that we could actually farm diamonds in this general location. We need those plants. Does that still hold true? Apparently it does. Wow, shocking. Really? Somebody's actually over here. tad bit cheating there because I used the sky missiles but hey it's game I did it oh but you know what we could actually use that to our advantage in the future they will allow us to change the uh, weather in the future so, if that works to our advantage, hey, who am I to judge? Yes! Ah. If I'm correct, they gave us 20,000 GP just for that. Hmm, more than what we've wasted just by blowing those guys up and we left one guy one guy alive to give us the answer and he gave us the answer and we folded it home I'm very happy about that fully accomplished so now that that's done we're returning home to base and we still have one more base to build to complete the circle of bases and then hopefully just hopefully have a run in with Paz and if you don't know who Paz is she was one of the characters from Peace Walker that carried over to Ground Zero to Phantom Pain I did my homework. I read. Are you kidding me? Again. It's an automatic. Don't bother trying to dampen the recoil. You do that with a revolver. We diamond dogs are now a force to be reckoned with. We've got the world's attention. 
We're not some tribal militia. So don't act like one. You will learn how a real soldier fights. You will forget everything Hollywood taught you. And if I catch you doing something else, you'll know it. Engravings give you no tactical advantage whatsoever. That was some fancy shooting. Pretty good. Wait until you see Bloodsport. Somebody actually came at me with a knife. <laughs> For a second there, I thought D Dog was ready. I have the full use of my base now. Well, okay, maybe not full use. Working on it, working on it. See, I like how everything is coming along. I finished four sections in one day. Emblem part. And what is this? Alright. So where are they at? So yeah, that was Ocelot giving the boys some target practice. One of them tried to shoot their automatic like a revolver. Leave that to Ocelot. Hence, revolver, Ocelot. Yeah, I'm not here for you. Yeah, I remember back whenever we were doing FOBs and I chased, uh, <laughs> Solix up here. He came up here like this and came across like this. And I spotted him from right over there and I aimed my tranquilizer gun right at him. I was like, what are you doing? And he jumps straight down. I'm like, oh, you idiot. Of course, he kills himself. I thought it was funny. Nope, you won't see me pull a stunt like that. Instead, I'm more of like... Hmm. I don't think I can do it right now. Can I? Let me see. Jump down. Nope, I died. Of course, you gotta die on your own base at some point in time, right? Snake, talk to me! Snake! <laughs> yes, that is still there. <laughs> Snake! That's funny. Very funny. Did I pick up that one full thing? Or did I just leave it go? Alright, so it's still on the marker and it's still up there, so I'm gonna run over there right now. 
right over. Rover to Rover, send Puck right over. Boss, welcome home. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if I took a shower or not. Are you sure it's over there? Because it doesn't look like I can make it over there without doing this. Oh crap. Um. Nope. <clears throat> Unless I come over here and do it. Because it's right up there. Thanks for letting me join the fight. No problem. I almost missed the ladder. I'm blind. Find my glasses so I can see. <laughs> She broke her finger. She got a boo boo. Where's that stupid package? Why can't I see it? Where'd it run off to? Why is it hiding? Why is it up there? Wait a minute. Am I even at the marker? What the heck is going on here? Oh, wait. Side over there. Okay, I'm confused. Yo, what's up? Uh, what? Four wheel drive. Oh, those are my vehicles, okay. Same leg as before. Holy crap. You got a death wish or something? Boss, got time to train with me? Oh, you want to train? Alright, give me a second. You ready? You ready for this? Okay, now get up. How about you? You want to throw down? Now you, get up. Shower time. <laughs> so yeah, you have to build up their uh, toughness. Doing it like that. I still can't find this freaking thing. Am I missing something? No problem. Call me anytime to do it again. Do the hustle. Thank you, thank you. Now, how the heck do you expect me to get up there? There's no freaking way. Is there? Can I just simply roll off the top ledges of that building and then just glide over here? Or is there a ladder over here? No ladder. How? 
I give up. Alright, so, next mission. We'll pick up in the next episode of Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. This is King Willux. See you in the next video. Peace.